Hello YouTube, this is Satish. In this video, we are going to learn about SR flip-flop and also how to write the truth table for SR flip-flop. SR flip-flop is a combination of SR latch with two NAND gates. And now let us see how to write the truth table for SR flip-flop. Now, when the clock pulses are down, whatever may be the feedback, the output is always previous state. Now, let us see our first condition when the clock pulse is I and 0 and 0. When the input is 0 and 0, the out should, output should be 1 and 1. Now, when the output is 1 and 1, 1 and 1 output for a SR latch is always equal to previous state. Hence, 0 and 0 output we get previous state. Now, let us see for the conditions 0 and 1. When S is equal to 0, R is equal to 1, the input for the SR latch will be 1 and 0 respectively. Now, 1 and 0, input for the SR latch will be 0 and 1. That is what we got here. Now, similarly, for 1 and 0, 1 and 0, 1 and 0 input for the SR s is equal to 1, r is equal to 0. Now, input for the SR latch will be 0 and 1. 0 and 1 input for the SR latch will be 1 and 0 respectively. That is what we got now. 1 and 0. Now, next. 1 and 1. 1 and 1. s is equal to 1, r is equal to 1. The input for the SR latch will be 0 and 0. 0 and 0 for SR latch is not accessible and hence this state is not accessible state. Now, this is how you should write the truth table for SR flip flop. Now, 0 and 1 is called set state and 1 and 0 is called reset state. One drawback of SR latch is Corrected in SR flip-flop that is whenever we give set signal We get set signal as output whenever we give reset signal as input we get reset signal as output But still there is one drawback that is it has one not accessible state This one not accessible state can be corrected using JK flip-flop. That's all for today guys. Have a nice day